We are in Scotland! We are finally back on the road and last night we arrived in Inverness which is about there somewhere. <laughs> I'm super excited because we have decided to do the NC500 which is the 500 miles it takes to drive around the north coast of Scotland. We have about 10 days but we don't have like an exact plan of what to do every day but a rough idea of what we're going to do. We've been debating a bit if we should do it clockwise or anti-clockwise. Most people seem to do it clockwise so we've decided to do it anti-clockwise. I think it'll be fun. Anyways we have just arrived here at Channery Point. I think that's how you say it and the fun thing about this place is that they do have a colony of around 200 bottlenose dolphins and I love dolphins so now I'm gonna get Jeremy out of that van and go dolphin hunting ready to go dolphin hunting You've seen them? Don't believe you. There's loads of people here. We're definitely not the only ones looking for the dolphins. Jeremy doesn't believe that I'll be able to see them. <laughs> but I'm still hopeful. Look at that cold man. such a cold cold man anyways I was thinking to try to touch the water it's gonna be freezing it's not as bad as I thought actually it's not too bad I don't think I'm gonna go for a swim but not too bad the water is not too cold Oh, I got a very dirty hand. Well, no dolphins yet. And I don't know how long I can keep this guy here entertained. Look. Even the seagull is cold. We haven't seen any dolphins. Walking back to the car and still hopeful. <laughs> back in the van and Jeremy is now taking me to Clutie Well. Clutie Well. Something like that. It's loads of clothes hanging in trees. Not really sure why they're there but hopefully we will figure that part out. So we read on the sign by the car park that people have been leaving stuff here for centuries in hope that they will be healed. And it seems like it's mostly clothes. Loads of clothes. To be honest, to me it looks a tiny bit like rubbish. Like look at look at this branch. It's not very pretty. Oh, I feel like I'm walking between dirty laundry. <laughs> I'm sure people are not gonna leave something behind that they love. Probably there's loads of dirty knickers and a lot of face masks, unfortunately. A medal. literally surrounded by people's clothes and now we actually don't have too much of a plan of where to go next the only thing I know is that we have to find somewhere to sleep tonight and we need to fill petrol Wendy but we just arrived in Dunbeath and part of the van by the house there and I think this is where we're gonna stay overnight the view it's beautiful, it's right by the shoreline. 
And now I was thinking to walk up. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a nice walk. It is steep and windy. <laughs> And I'm very close to the edge, but look at this! Wow! And the water is so clear. You can even see it down there. <laughs> it's so windy! And now I think we are going to go to a pub that is just a 15 minute walk from here. Not sure what he's doing. Good morning! It's now day two and we just had some breakfast, got ready and now we are off to our next destination. half an hour drive we are here at the old castle of Wick or what's left of the old castles it's, it's not too much there's just some old ruins to be honest but it's on a cliff side and it's so steep at the end here and the view is pretty amazing Jeremy also told me that the guy that built this castle is half Norwegian fun fact of the day look at this this is steep. Um, I don't dare to walk any further out. But this is incredible. What a view. I wish I lived in that castle. Oh God, no, I can't see Jeremy anymore. Oh, there he is. We are back in the van and on our way to see castle number two of the day. the final stop of the day. I met a guy and he's local and he said it's always this windy. You can't hear it but I'll unplug the microphone and you can hear. It's definitely very windy. We had dinner and watched a movie. Now we went for a little evening walk watching the sunset and I think it's time to go to bed but before I go to bed I need to show you that the flag for Orkney or Orkney Islands is very similar to the Norwegian flag the only thing they've changed is the yellow and white so tomorrow is going to be day three of our NC500 tour and hopefully we will see some puffins. I've never seen puffins before even though there are puffins in Norway I've never seen them before so we are definitely going on the lookout for puffins. See you then!